Welcome to Bill Dance Saltwater. Great fun fishing that anyone can do. Yes, you can do this. Hello again, everybody. This week, we're coming to you from 30 degrees north and 87 degrees west, which is right in the heart of Lower Alabama and the city of Orange Beach, home of the 62-foot charter boat Annie Girl and her longtime captain, Mike Rowell. You can never question that Bill Dance ranks Mike as one of Saltwater's best guides and fishermen of all time. Mike's been chartering boats and the Annie Girl for more than 34 years, and he knows the Gulf Coast waters like Bill knows his tackle box. Bill and Mike have fished together many times over the years, with red snapper being the main species at the end of their lines. These snapper love to hang out around the man-made structures that have been placed in several locations throughout the shallow Gulf waters. These structures have turned the Alabama Gulf Coast into the biggest artificial reef program in the United States of America. But today, their target isn't necessarily red snapper. They're going after the beeliner, the fast one, also known as the vermilion snapper. Today, Bill is also dedicating this show to Mike's son, Philip Rowell, who was known as Big Phil. Big Phil was full of life, a great outdoorsman, and is being missed dearly by his family and his friends. Of all the different species here uh, at Zeke's Marina uh, at Orange Beach, what single fish do most of your customers want to catch? Uh, you know, everybody dreams of a big fish, yeah. but you don't, you know, there's more fish that come in this size yeah. than they do in this size. That's right. So, yeah, a lot of, a lot of people like quantity over quality. That's and, true. Uh, and we uh, we have a, a fish here we catch a lot of is vermilion snapper, yeah. and uh, it look a lot like a red snapper that everybody's crazy about. But there's a lot more of them. There's a, the bag limits are uh, are higher, and you can catch these fish year round. And, they're, uh, they're plentiful here in the yes. Gulf of Mexico. Mm -hmm. But the the one thing I hear about the familiar snapper, they're just absolutely delicious to eat. Oh, they, they are. make great table fare. Yes, they do. And uh, and you don't have to go out so far for them. Uh, we do a lot of half day trips. The kids are out of school, spring break, that kind of thing. We do these half day trips, and we can go out and catch these vermilion snapper just about any time of the year. And we don't have to go so far offshore. We have a lot of artificial reefs here, as you know. We have the largest artificial reef program in the world here you in do. Alabama. You yeah. do, and a lot of people are not aware of that. Mm -hmm. You look at the coast of uh, Alabama coastline, I think it runs 35 to 50 miles, mm -hmm. and that's the shortest coastline yeah. of, of any state uh, in the United States, I believe. Well, in the Gulf. In the sure. Gulf, I mean. Yeah. And so when you look at that, as far as artificial attractors, Alabama has more artificial attractors within the nine miles from offshore nine miles out than any place in the world. Yep. Now that's saying a lot. It is. As yep. far as artificial attractors. Yes, it's, it's been, a, been very beneficial. Tell you what, let's back the Annie girl out and give her a shot and see what we can do. All I'm right. looking forward to it. We Me talked too. about it for years. And, yeah. yeah. Um, on light tackle, it'll be a lot of fun to yeah. fish for them. That's something good to eat when we get back. Look forward to it. All right. So how about it? Load up and go with us, okay? We'll see you out there. There you are. That was right on the bottom. That was right on the bottom? Yep. I went to the bottom. I was going to reel up, and he got me. You get out of your way. Whoa. Coming down here. Whoa. He's pulling hard. Look at that rod. Boy, that's fun. That is fun. You're one of the best. I don't know about that. I do. There he is. Good gracious, look how red that thing is. Another nice one. Look at that. These are beautiful. These are really nice. Really what? nice size fish. What is their main diet out here? Anything. <laughs> They're ferocious eaters. Bill Dance Saltwater is sponsored in part by 
Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Quantum Rods and Reels. Quantum, performance tuned. And by Mercury Marine. Go boldly. Today's Conditions Log is brought to you by Bill Dance Digital. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube for great information that can improve your fishing. All these reefs out here hold a variety of fish. Boy, what was that? I got it though. Whatever it is. Oh, buddy. Yeah. This one is tugging. I see something down there. Good gracious. Oh, yeah. I think I got a trigger fish. Yeah. Got a trigger fish, Bill. Trigger fish? Oh, yeah, get him in. I want to see him. Now look at that fat thing. Gray trigger fish. That is one of my favorite fish to eat right there. Now, why do they call them trigger fish? Well, see that? That's, that's what they cut their trigger. It won't go, down, won't go all the way down, but if you pull their trigger, it'll go all the way down. Look at here. That's one thing. There's another one. Look at that thing. Their skin's like leather. Yeah, I feel it. I'm holding it. Look at that trigger come up. Look at their teeth. You don't want to put your finger in their mouth. Oh, look at what a pretty smile you have, my dear. Uh-huh. Don't let that one go. You're not going to keep them? They're not big enough. They got to be 14 inches. Those are oh, about 12. There's a lot of little ones right now. We got a lot of, of uh, re recruitment this year. Well, they fight good, I know that. I'm gonna let you have it, John. You got the gloves on. See that I may trade the fish for the rod. See it, dude. Trigger fish. What's the biggest one you ever caught? The biggest one I ever caught was 11 pounds. Today's show is brought to you in part by 
Mako Boats, building legends for over 40 years. Gamagatsu, the world's finest fish hooks. And Bill Dance exclusive rods by Quantum. Today's show is brought to you in part by Pure Marine Odor Eliminator. Eliminates foul fish odors from gear, compartments, and empty live wells. Garmin, bite your fish, not your fish finder. And by Monster Marine Lithium. Lighter, stronger, longer. Today's equipment log is brought to you by Gamakatsu. Because the fish of a lifetime only comes once in a lifetime. You know, this is a lot of fun on this light tackle. You get a lot of kids on fishing trips. You yeah. got a lot. You got a lot of kids. Yes, we do. Especially uh, during spring break, get a lot of families, and uh, this is one of the target species for me. Through, through the summer months too. Yeah, yeah. We catch them year round. Whoa! Look at here. Golly! I bet that's a trigger fish. Lee boy, look at that. That's fun, isn't it? Yeah, it's fun. That's got to be a trigger fish. Everybody's looking over. What is it? Where is it? Where's Where is it going? It? Where's Where it doing? What kind is it? How deep is it? There it is. There is a fish. Look at that fat baby right there. I believe that's the same one you caught last time. That little job right there. He in this thing, huh? He's fat as you are, Mike. Better big eyes. I think we're gonna stick him on our new descending tool. That's really a unique product. This fish has a swim bladder, naturally all fish do. So you can adjust this at 50 feet, you can adjust it at 100 feet, and at 150 feet. And what you do, it's a sequelizer is what it's called. And when you bring a fish out of, these fish are 120 feet deep that we're catching. You attach this to your line. You got a three pound weight right here. And you attach this and it drops the fish down. And once it goes through 150 feet, it automatically opens this device right here. It opens up and the fish swims freely. And the fish uh, decompresses the gases from the swim bladder. That, therefore, the fish doesn't swim on top of the water. So you just hook this to this device right here. Let's go ahead and open that thing. You open it, this three pound weight is attached to this, and we're going to lower this over the side with the fish, and once that fish and that weight gets to past 120 feet, yes, it's going to automatically open, and that's the depth at which that fish was caught. So we're going to let it down, and once it goes through there, it'll automatically open. That's a neat, it's called a sequelizer. So what happens when you bring that fish up, there's no way for it to expand those gases in its swim bladder. And that's why a fish turns up and it floats. But this device allows you, if you're catching fish at 50, 100 to 150 feet, you can hook that to it, and drop the fish, and once it goes through, that zone, it automatically opens. So you see, it's opened up, the fish is back to the depth of water, unharmed. That's a, it's a very, very unique product. That's a, that'll reduce our release mortality. Oh, the, yeah, absolutely, 
that's a very, very unique product called uh, the sequelizer. If we'd have thrown him back, he'd have swam out through there, a shark would have probably got him, or maybe a bird or something, but he's happy swimming away. The Bill Dance Question and Answer of the Week, brought to you by Bill Dance Exclusive Rods by Quantum. Whether you're fishing for panfish, bass, catfish, or light salt water, we have the action for you. Available at Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Is boat position key when tarpon fishing? Yes. A powerful trolling motor is important when holding position near migrating schools. It's crucial to silently hang tight, but have the ability to quickly change position if the fish moves. A good way to do this is with a fire pole anchoring system. You may have to chase the tarpon once hooked, and pulling up an anchor by hand slows you down and loses the fish. But a fire pole is instant. Today's show is sponsored in part by Millennium Marine, a new class of comfort. And by Explore Florida's Space Coast. Countdown to Adventure. Closed captioning provided by the Bill Dance Store. Check us out online. Today's product tip is brought to you by Garmin. In their GPS map series, shark plotter sonar combos with their advanced sonar technology, like Panoptic's Live Scope All Seeing Sonar, you'll spend less time finding your fish. If you want to get to the source of foul odors, use Pure Marine Odor Eliminator products, like this spray right here. Pure Marine products are easy to use, safe on non porous hard surfaces, and won't fade over time like masking scents. It's even safe to spray in live wells, storage compartments, and your fishing gear. Eliminate odors with Pure Marine. Come be part of Bill Dance Digital. Join us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Follow us. Got him on. Doubled up. You doubled up. We. When you catch red snappers out of season, um, you just throw them back, right? Yep. Yep. We just let them go. We try. I think I got one. We try to avoid them. But there's so many avoid. of them, you, it's hard to avoid them. I don't know who's got this one. There's a net. That helps. You don't have to lean over as far, do you? No, not with that thing. Extend it out and good to go. Now, how big is that? Go ahead. How big? Look how fat that little snapper is. How big is that one? About five pounds, four pounds? I would say right around there. So you get up, just throw him back, right? Yeah, we're going to let him swim off. All right. You lost a good fishing buddy, your son, a couple of years ago, Philip. Yeah. And uh, we dedicated this show to Philip. Uh, Philip was an avid sportsman. He loved to fish. Yeah. Uh, he fished on the Andy Girl with you quite a bit. Yes, of all did. the different species of fish that uh, Philip liked to fish for, what, what was one of his favorites? He liked them all, but he loved offshore fishing. Tuna, marlin, he really loved that. And, but you couldn't, uh, you couldn't ask for a better fisherman. He had a great personality. Everybody loved him. He was just a lot of fun. And he made, uh, made a lot of people's trips special. You know, I've, it's sad that I never got a chance to meet him, but uh, I heard great things about him. Uh, he loved to fish for, for me and Stafford, oh, yeah. too. Oh, yeah, he did, he did. And, uh, you know the picture you let us use. Uh, you caught two gigantic, big, two, big, two of the biggest ones we've ever caught. Yeah, yeah. And uh, 
Did you like to hunt much? Oh yeah. Loved a bow hunt. Had a crossbow. Yeah. He was deadly with that crossbow. He loved to hunt deer. So you brought him up the right way, hunting yeah. and fishing. Yeah, sure did. So, we had a good time. A lot of good times together. Yeah. Well, that's a good way to stay in the sunshine, yeah. but you know. Yeah. Unfortunately, it was his time to go. Well, it's sad, but uh, I've heard there's nothing but good things about him. So, like I said, we're devoted to the show to him today. So, well, I appreciate uh, that. So, well, you're welcome. Thank we you appreciate you. And we appreciate the good times that he gave you and the good times you gave him. So, that's what it's all about. Now you know why that's what Bill calls his dear friend Mike Rowell. There's no doubt about it. When it comes to reef fishing, here in the northern Gulf of Mexico waters, Mike is as knowledgeable as they come. And the Annie Girl is one of the best charter boats there is to make it the most enjoyable day. Give Mike a call if you'd like to experience one of these fantastic adventures, because this is something you can do. Yep, you can do this. Thanks again for watching, and we'll catch you again right here next week on Bill Dance Saltwater. We hope you've enjoyed Bill Dance Saltwater and learned that you can do this. Yes, you can do this. Please join us right here next week.